once it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. There's something a little bit smarmy about Dark Souls' taunting marketing tagline, Prepare to Die. But while bold design choices in a dangerous world provide death with many opportunities, there's no malice here. This atmospheric action RPG triumph isn't into making you suffer, it's about what you gain along the way. Prepare to die might turn ears, but the better question is, are you prepared to play? My hopes for thee are of the highest. Do not such a hope shatter with foul disproportion. <laughs> Even now, there are only embers. And man sees not light, but only endless nights. The narrative of Dark Souls is more akin to an ancient, intricate tapestry than a novel, where inference and history trump exposition. The world's shrouded origins can be glimpsed in the opening sequence that speaks of primordial embers and the threat of everlasting darkness, with mysterious figures such as the furtive pygmy and the first of undead creating a poetic texture. It's a place where people die and, stripped of their humanity, live on as the undead in a splintered reality. You are one of these unfortunates, and with no choice but to soldier on, exploring, questing for salvation and life. Snippets from item descriptions and sparse but intriguing NPC dialogue give traction to a story steeped in lore, if light on explanation. Terrific to see us both in one piece, and pray that you never go hollow. There's an eternal logic to these shattered realms, which leaves a yearning to learn more, with vagaries and missing pieces inviting you to draw your own conclusions. Some of the simpler concepts could use further elucidation, a reoccurring problem throughout the game, but there's enough mysticism and myth to give Dark Souls a level of rumination to match its murkiness, where story elements match with gameplay concepts in an attempt at a shared coherence. Or is he not too drenched in sin? <laughs> Yes, indeed. The Dark Sign brands the undead. You begin Dark Souls as an undead inmate in a decrepit asylum, where a terse tutorial attempts to instill the game's nature and controls. The game's harsh nature is immediately clear. Brief descriptions give little context to the intricate control system, and even veterans of the precursor Demon Souls might not immediately grasp all the details. Ready or not, you'll have to vanquish a boss almost immediately before being unleashed onto the open world to increase your power and explore. While this barrier to entry has been lowered considerably from its famously difficult predecessor, it remains a notable sticking point. The difficulty isn't the problem, it's that there are insufficient tools to teach the player early on. Post escape, the world opens up with multiple paths to explore and proving grounds to spill your blood along with that of your enemies. The world is open and interconnected, dotted with bonfires that act as small sanctuaries where you can level up, recharge spells, and fill your healing flask. Doing so also resets the state of the world, shuffling monsters back into position, though there are certain foes that, once felled, will stay dead. Dark Souls asks you to be cautious when exploring a new area, and makes experience points, in the form of souls you earn from slaying the accursed, a less abstract notion. Souls are earned and can be lost and recovered, and only spent safely at the bonfire to strengthen your character. Your initial class selection is only the starting point. A cleric can wield a greatsword, and a fighter can invest in magic, provided the stat requirements are met. Like souls, items and equipment aren't freely given but earned, with weapons being looted from corpses or found after a daring leap. Eventually areas are conquered, bosses killed, and more distinct lands become available. The world becomes a wormy apple and you the worm, linking disparate zones into an exquisite jigsaw puzzle where each piece is an alluring picture filled with monstrous beasts, unique inhabitants, and no small number of surprises. The experience is further defined by unique online features refined from Demon Souls' original system. It's not all immediately apparent, but meeting the proper conditions let you summon other players to tackle areas cooperatively, invade players, and enter covenants, factions whose favor you earn by assisting or thwarting other human players. Ah, thou dost cometh. How fares ye? Even if the game is played offline, the aspect of the game is simulated by computer-driven phantoms. The various layers of interaction, including a messaging system that can enlighten or mislead, and concepts such as a faction dedicated to hunting down invading players, further blur the lines between playing online in an intriguing and rewarding way. There's a certain point in the game where the design clicks, around the time you've overcome a frustrating boss and discovered a much-needed shortcut back to the starting area. 
There's a feeling of accomplishment and satisfaction that gives the gumption to conquer the land and partake in its mysteries, both on and offline. Blending genres has become the norm these days, and Dark Souls does it well, mixing in RPG stats and equipment choices with an action game's call for reflexes and grit. They work together, with your accumulated numerical power working in conjunction with keen eyes and quick thumbs to land blows. Risk takers can try for punishing backstabs and reposts, while more careful players can opt to wear heavy armor and take up a shield, biding time for the perfect strike. It's crucial to be mindful of your stamina bar. Since you won't be able to avoid or dish out hits when it's depleted, your health gauge is likely to shrink soon thereafter. Adapting your style and considering which weapons, rings, and magic to use in any given situation lights up both of the brain's hemispheres, making a harmony of tactics and strategy. A lock-on feature makes single combat satisfying and tense, though the legions of the damned will gang up on you if given the chance. While drawing out a single enemy can be a solid strategy, you won't always have the luxury of solo combat. Many situations force you to deal with multiple enemies, and even bosses, simultaneously, keeping you on your toes. There are a multitude of solutions, and experimentation is encouraged, since it's back to the bonfire if your plans don't quite work out. Enemies aren't always brilliant outside combat, but they're effective and numerous attack routines are no laughing matter with feints and follow-ups that can catch you off guard. Even a soul-losing death can be satisfying, with new tells discovered that add to your personal experience, if not to your character's statistical one. Every new weapon is worth inspecting, with unique animations for the varying strikes and positions, and even an unspectacular axe can be melded into an elemental force through a crafting system that involves bringing hard-worn materials to blacksmiths hidden throughout the land. You seem to be doing all right. Need anything forged? Likewise, different spells can be bought and discovered throughout the realm. With solid controls and a ton of options to try, perfecting your killer moves never feels like a chore, but a means of refinement, with skills that carry over to new weapons and new foes. The scope of Dark Souls is certainly not lacking in ambition, though that ambition sometimes eclipses its technical prowess. The lands are distinct and detailed, flowing together with no interruption from loading screens, but the frame rate suffers, with dips that can be annoying or even detrimental to the experience. Animations are lively, especially the brutal grabs and reposts, and although the corpse's rubbery ragdoll dancing comes across as absurd at times, it doesn't affect the gameplay. Human characters, including yours, can feel lacking in detail, but impressively decorated armor and exceptionally well-matched dialogue help sell the believability of the world. Grand orchestral tunes reserved mainly for boss encounters, with haunting ambient sound and the rattling of clang and steel, create much of the soundscape. Beautiful and diverse as a whole, it's a shame that the game's artistic merits aren't consistently matched by technical performance. Despite the occasional imperfections, however, this strange and expansive world is truly something to behold. If you can take the lumps from the game's exacting systems and leap the hurdles of vague direction and instruction, Dark Souls can offer a singularly fulfilling experience. Its well-crafted land stretches far and wide without resorting to filler but is stocked with enticement and mystery to spur on hours upon hours of discovery that time and time again see dramatic tribulation turn to harrowing triumph. Like coal turned to diamonds, Dark Souls is capable of compressing frustration and hardship into deep satisfaction. Hey!